Three Gaudi just spoke out on Comey's FBI job. Then said three words nobody saw coming. The fiery South Carolina made his name for grilling Hillary Clinton about the Benghazi attack in 2012. He is one of 11 candidates on the White House list who would lead the FBI. Another one on the list is Texas Senator John Cornyn, says McClatchy, D.C. Three Gowdy would make a great FBI director. Don't you agree? Share this if you agree. Watch him explain his feelings on James Comey. Base Thray Gowdy points out that the element of the offense intent is not a part of the statute. He also goes on to explain why the element gross negligence was purposely chosen for that statute instead of intent. This is an amazing video and shows how successful Thray Gowdy would be as an FBI director. Please share this if you believe Thray Gowdy is the best choice for the FBI job. Let's get this to Trump. Let's show him that we want Thray Gowdy. Thray Gowdy. He's a hero, what America's top lawyer just said will save Trump from impeachment. When it comes to lawyers in the United States, there are few as good as the now Andersha Wentz. The man is a legend. Now that legend has come out about Trump firing James Comey with a simple message, Trump is innocent. Dershowitz was disturbed when he saw all the liberals, even his fellow Harvard professors, trying to make up reasons why Trump firing Comey was an impeachable offense. That's why he settled the matter once and for all. Dershowitz wrote. The President of the United States can legally fire the head of the FBI for any and all reasons. Alan Dershowitz may be a conservative, but he was not defending President Trump's reasoning or anything. He said that even if Donald Trump fired Comey with bad intentions, the law was never broken. Even assuming that Trump was improperly motivated in firing Comey. Motive alone should never constitute a crime. There should have to be an unlawful act. And exercising constitutional and statutory power should not constitute the actus reus of a crime. If the laws were never broken, that means Democrats have no grounds to impeach Trump. It's just that simple. So there you have it. Regardless of what people think of Donald Trump, the fact is that there were no laws broken. So help to share this to all your friends and family so we can stop this nonsense once and for all. Thank you for reading us. Us. It's happening. North Korea just launched a new missile. This is not good. North Korea has fired what appears to be a ballistic missile, reports from South Korea say. The missile was launched near the city of Kasong, northwest of the capital, Pyongyang, Yonhap News Agency reported. North Korea has carried out a series of missile tests this year, increasing tensions with the U.S. Pyongyang has accelerated its nuclear and missile tests in recent years, despite international condemnation and UN sanctions. Two missile tests last month both failed, with the rockets exploding just minutes into flight. The North is believed to be continuing efforts to miniaturize nuclear warheads and fit them on long range missiles capable of reaching the U.S. But despite poor relations, North Korea recently said it would hold talks with the U.S. if the conditions were right. The comments, by a senior North Korean diplomat, came after U.S. President Donald Trump said he would be honored to meet the North's leader, Kim Jong-un. The latest launch, if confirmed, comes days after South Korean President Moon Jae-in was sworn in. Breaking, top Democrats getting arrested. It's finally happening. A State Department employee pleaded not guilty in court on Wednesday after being charged in an FBI investigation, the Department of Justice announced. Candace Claiborne, who worked in the Caucasus Affairs Office of the State Department, is being charged for two felony offenses. Claiborne is being charged with obstructing an official proceeding and making false statements to the FBI, both felony offenses for allegedly concealing numerous contacts that she had over a period of years with foreign intelligence agents, a Justice Department release said. Claiborne, who has a top-secret security clearance, failed to disclose her foreign contacts aboard despite being required to do so. Claiborne also is required to report any contacts with persons suspected of affiliation with a foreign intelligence agency, the press release said. This case demonstrates that U.S. government employees will be held accountable for failing to honor the trust placed in them when they take on such sensitive assignments, it added.
Claiborne is accused of repeatedly contacting two Chinese intelligence agents, who provided tens of thousands of dollars in gifts and benefits to Claiborne and her family over five years. The press release said the agents provided Claiborne with gifts, including cash wire to Claiborne's user account, an Apple iPhone and laptop computer, Chinese New Year's gifts, meals, international travel and vacations, tuition at a Chinese fashion school, a fully furnished apartment, and a monthly stipend. Claiborne also wrote in her journal that she could generate 20k in one year if she continued working with one of the agents, an affidavit says. Claiborne was arrested Tuesday and appeared in a D.C.-based district court on Wednesday afternoon. Claiborne has worked with the State Department in various posts since 1999, including embassies and consulates in Baghdad, Iraq, Khartoum, Sudan, and Beijing and Shanghai, China. The FBI's investigation of Claiborne included surveillance done under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, Reuters said in a tweet, citing a federal prosecutor. Claiborne could face a maximum of 25 years in prison. In prison. It just happened, Donald Trump just sent Heike on a super special mission. This is huge. There is not a single person in this world that Donald Trump trusts more than his daughter Rianca Trump. In fact, he trusts her so much that he just gave her one an unimaginably important job. President Trump sent Hyka on a listening tour of all the top U.S. agencies. So what exactly is a listening tour? Well, it's much more significant than it sounds. Hyka has been tasked with going to all the agencies, especially the EPA and deciding whether or not the U.S. will stay in the Paris Climate Change Agreement. H.T., Politico. She has also been ordered by the President to visit the Department of Health and Human Services. He wants her to work with them on the new health care to make sure it works for all Americans. Anka also has meetings with the heads of labor, veterans affairs, and the Small Business Administration to help to decide their future directions. I just do not understand how it is that feminists hate Heike Trump so much. She is hardworking, caring, passionate, and incredibly accomplished. Heike is the kind of person we should all strive to be like. So help share this out and let the world see how important Heike's job really is. Also, send her a prayer or amen. Thank you for reading us. Us. Breaking, CIA FBI launch massive manhunt for American trader, thousands of secrets exposed. Developing now. The U.S. has been betrayed by a mole inside the CIA. Perhaps it isn't uncommon to hear about governmental leaks and betrayal, after all, our former president appears to be guilty of multiple betrayals, and more come to light every week. But when we're talking about thousands of top secret documents stolen from the Central Intelligence Agency, the danger level skyrockets. This is happening right now and the worst part is, our government doesn't yet know the identity of the traitor. This, according to CBS News. The CIA and FBI are conducting a joint investigation into one of the worst security breaches in CIA history, which exposed thousands of top secret documents that described CIA tools used to penetrate smartphones, smart televisions, and computer systems. Sources familiar with the investigation say it is looking for an insider, either a CIA employee or contractor, who had physical access to the material. The agency has not said publicly when the material was taken or how it was stolen. Much of the material was classified and stored in a highly secure section of the intelligence agency, but sources say hundreds of people would have had access to the material. Investigators are going through those names. This wealth of stolen information was published by WikiLeaks last month, much to the shock of Americans across the country. Obviously, the CIA wasn't too pleased, either. Now, it appears the CIA is on the warpath and WikiLeaks is firmly in their sights. Agency Director Mike Pompeo had these scathing words for the Dirt Digging Organization. It is time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. Whoa! Remember, at the time, 
WikiLeaks admitted they obtained the leaked information from former contractors who worked for U.S. intelligence. At that time, the CIA refused to comment. But they're commenting now and they're also taking action. With the help of the FBI, they intend to hunt down this traitor and bring him, or her, to justice, which is precisely what needs to be done. If we're going to have a government that works properly, there must be secrets. That's simply the nature of the business. Those who expose those secrets to the world are not doing Americans any favors. Remember that, fellow citizens. Thank you for reading us. Us. If this whistleblower is right, Trump is gonna have exactly what he needs to take down Obama. Whistleblower says that the evidence he gave Trump that'll have Obama shivering this Saturday. As was reported by the Gateway Pundit, a massive amount of data was found on 47 hard drives from an alleged government whistleblower turned over to Freedom Watch recently. If you remember, Evelyn Farkas admitted to spying on Trump on TV. This information shows that Obama spied on everyone says the conservative treehouse. Freedom Watch notified Congress that a deep state intelligence community whistleblower named Dennis Montgomery that has millions of documents that show the CIA and the FBI spying on American citizens 